this is a this is a screencast of a problem of an oscillating block on a vertical spring. I have the starting values at the L vector at 0.2 meters. Uh, this is just 0.2 because we don't need to use vectors because this is only the y direction and the x and the z directions remain zero and they remain constant throughout the entire problem. So this is only a one dimensional problem when it comes down to all the calculations. So that makes things simpler, a lot simpler in the code. Um, so this is again 0.2 meters for the L vector. Um, L naught, which is the length of the relaxed spring, is 2 meters. So that creates the initial stretch to be negative 1.8. Net force is zero, momentum is zero. And since the L vector is 0.2, also the initial position is 0.2. Um, and again, net force and momentum are both zero because it's at rest. This is the standard loop. We have update the net force, update the momentum, we're going to update the position, and then we're going to print the data. And then as soon as we're done with that, we're going to update the L vector, or the stretch of the spring, to the last position, because the block is still connected to the spring. And then position initial is going to be set equal to position final, so that we can then reiterate and find a new final position and then end the program. And then here are the uh, the net force, momentum, position, and velocity formulas um, written out in C++ code. Um, they're basically the same thing. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it now. All right, and make clear the screen. Run the program. That's 500 iterations really fast and you can't read them all. So I'm going to pull up the text file that they were written to. Get that back in review. Alright. First iteration. Now some things remained constant so I didn't print them out to the file. But the main things that we need to be concerned with are the force of the spring, the net force, and the new position of the block. Other things can either be um, gathered from these few numbers or they're just not very important to the numbers changing. And as you can see here, iteration 1 through 500, and force the spring on the first iteration 27 newtons, and then the net force 17.2, and then the new position is updated. I'm not going to sit here and read through 500 iterations for you, um, but as you can see, it's updated every single time. It goes up, goes up, and goes up. Um, and then also the forces are changed. Um, so that's that's about it. All right.